Steve, your one game in charge, how did you enjoy it? Uh, enjoy is not the right word. It's been a traumatic couple of days. Um, very difficult for everybody concerned. And when I say everybody, I mean everybody. Um, I think the, the pleasing thing today was, for, the most important thing was for the club to get a very important three points, um, which, which hopefully will, will provide a springboard moving forwards. Was it an anxious dressing room before kickoff? I wouldn't have said um, I wouldn't have said over anxious. I think when you've been through the period that the team, the players, uh, the club has been through of late, there's bound to be self-doubt. Um, the bonus today was, unlike previous matches where we haven't scored the first goal, to be two 0 up so early it was definitely a release of tension, and and you could see some signs of some confidence coming back. Was that a, as good as sort of 20 minutes, half an hour as you've seen in recent times? I think it was just a consequence of uh, the situation today and everything that was involved and scoring the two goals early and the release of tension that that, that created. I think there have been times in, uh, in previous matches this season where the team has played well, for whatever reason, not got that goal. Um, and uh, you, 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 the, the confidence levels are different. Um, today, you could see, I think, there's some signs of that confidence coming back. It's a strange day, wasn't it, with the fans singing yeah. Jose Mourinho's name. You know, you were close to him. How, how did you feel sort of emotionally? I think it's, uh, it, it's been very difficult. Um, there's how you feel, and then there's the face that you have to put on. The responsibility was to get the team, navigate the team through this game. Um, so, as I say, there's how you feel. And there's the, play, there's the face that you have to put on you know, to, the, to the players. Um, I know, I've known Jose for two and a half years. Um, not, not only is he an exceptional coach, but he's an exceptional guy. You don't see the, the, the other side of him. You, you see the, the competitor in front of the camera. Um, he's somebody that I have the utmost of respect for, both as a person and as a coach. And it was a privilege and honor to work with him. So, as I say, it's been a very difficult few days. Um, but I'm, I'm happy for the club today that they've managed to collect a very important three points. As I said, some of the fans seem to be divided. When Fabregas was substituted and Costa was substituted, some of the fans, quite a, a large section, were booing. What did you make of that? I think um, the, the supporters are entitled to their own opinion. Um, obviously, it's been a difficult period for everybody. I, I'm not a big f uh, social media guy. I wouldn't uh, pretend to know. Um, how it works, never mind the, the sort of conversations that I had over it. So what, what, what the reasons were and, and the rest of it, I, w I would have no idea. Um, but as I say, the, the, um, the supporters are entitled to their own opinion. I have to say today, you're asking me about today, I can only talk about today. I thought the players gave everything today. And um, the two players that you mentioned particularly um, made a big contribution to a very important win for Chelsea today. Gus Hiddink comes in, what's the first thing and the most important thing do you think he's got to do here? I, d I don't think uh, it's my position to tell somebody as experienced as Gus Hiddink w what he should and shouldn't be doing. But you've been behind the scenes, you know maybe what I needs fixing. I, I think sometimes maybe a fresh head, a fresh way of looking at it is a good thing anyway. Um, he's an experienced guy, he'll know what to do I'm sure. I think this, this, this job, the manager's uh, job at Chelsea, is a, is a job for an experienced guy, a guy who's used to working with uh, big players um, and at the highest level. And uh, Gus clearly fits that bill, so I'm sure he'll, he'll find his own way. Obviously, if he asks my opinion on things, I'll, I'll give an honest opinion. You will be staying on? Yeah, for sure, 100%. I, um, uh, Chelsea is a, is a fantastic club. I've, I've been here now for seven years in one way or another, one role or another. Um, Chelsea as a club have always been very fair with me um, as a club person and um, I'm, I'd be proud to continue between now and the end of the season with Gus and, and hope that the club can climb you know, up the table. Thanks Steve.